Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So, I haven't even gotten into covering my character. We're level 100. I haven't even covered my map juicing strats yet. We're too busy pumping out content for the newer players. So, with that being said, let's continue the train here. I get a lot of questions about achieving 90 maximum fire res, and no matter how much clarity I provide to this, players seem to be struggling. So, I figured a, a video on a quick deep dive will kind of quell all of this. So, step one, whether or not you're following my character or the POB, I want to show you this nice page here in Path of Building called the Calcs tab. So this would be your normal tree, right? You just click Calcs. And if you stare over at the fire res here, you can actually see where the maximum fire resist is coming from. Um, so like you can see here, like purity of fire, barbarism, etc, etc, right? With that being said, though, I'm just going to show an in-game version to make it a little bit easier. So I'm currently at 90 max fire res. If I disable my Purity of Fire, I go to 84 res. If I take out some points on the tree here, I now go to 81 res. If I take out the other max res, I go to 78 res. And if I take out Barbarism, I now go to 77 res. The last two maximum resistance is coming from a jewel for me. So you can see that right there. Now, some people are not going to be using Cloak of Flame, and they're going to be using a rare body armor, which means they can naturally have one to two maximum fire res from their body armor. Same thing with boots. If you're not using Annihilation's Approach, you can also get one max fire res on your boots. Now, if you combo this together, then you don't have to sacrifice a jewel. You can get an extra damage mod back. When I'm in this setup with Cloak of Flame and Annihilation's Approach, this is typically the way I go. However, you could also get lucky and get maximum fire resistance on your shield, Although that's a bit unlikely, right? Because you're typically pulling for just life on block. And then in the end game version, which I haven't made a guide on yet, you're actually going to want gem reservation so you can get malevolence, but this is for later. So there is one sneaky thing here, and I want to try to quell the sneaky thing. So you'll notice I have a purity of fire right now in my build that is currently level 24. All that matters is that it's level 23. You see, if you look at my Purity of Fire here, at level 20, it says 4 maximum fire res. And if I take this Purity out, it also says 4. You'll notice when I socket it right here, it goes to 5. This is because Purity gets a breakpoint at 20, and it gets a breakpoint at 23. However, there's more. So, <clears throat> talking a little bit more about the story. If you notice, my max res, when I turn on my Purity... It goes from 75 to 81. That's actually 6 max fire res. That's because Purity of Fire has aura effect scaling. If I remove this 10% effect, I will go down 1 max res. Now, to make it simple, so no math is involved, let's make it real simple. If you have a 23 Purity to achieve your breakpoint on max res, you need the 10% aura node right here. If you are on a lower level purity, such as level 20, right? So for example, here you can see I have a level 22 purity now. You're going to also need this node. See how my max res now went to 80? That's because the lower level purity needs a little bit more rounding. So TLDR, non-23 purity, you need both aura nodes. 23 purity, you only need one, okay? So now we're going to go back and I'm going to go plug in my max res. So now just to confirm here, I am 75 to 81. So that's going to be six from purity. I am going to socket in my jewel here. That puts me to 83. I'm going to grab my nomadic teaching plus this. That's 86. I'm going to come down here and grab my 87, 89, get my CB immune. And then we're going to plug in barbarism and we're back to 90. I hope that this video helped you guys out. Please leave a comment below if something is confusing so I can help you guys out. I'll try to add this to a like a little detailed FAQ section on the website because I don't have a max res breakdown. I figured it'll be easy if I just literally put it bullet list kind of like the way POV does. But anyway, I'm going to catch you guys all later. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you are watching this video since I am about to go live, I actually have uh, three boats and three map sessions to pull. Not going to look at it yet, but pretty nice, pretty excited. These are all pretty big boats. And then uh, over here, we got we got boom. Oh, actually, they died, so I have to kind of run that again. And then we got this one. Yeah. And then, and that way, we got this one. 
Have no fear, I will not be using the click all or take all button. I will also be individually clicking. So if you want to see that, catch you guys all later. See you guys at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.